At the base of the Smoky Mountains in East Tennessee, or in the heart of row crop country in the West, Tennessee produces top-notch turf grass. UT's Institute of Agriculture grows turf plots in both ends of the state to see how different varieties perform in weather conditions unique to each area. It's information that's helpful to homeowners as well as Tennessee's green industry. We're working for the landscapers so they can come here and see which ones do well, the homeowners, uh, you know, the entire uh, turf grass industry uh, from the standpoint, you know, different turf grasses fit different needs. We're in the transition zone and, and we can grow, you know, both warm season species and the cool seasons. UT turf grass specialist Greg Breeden watches plots statewide. In particular, he looks at what it takes to grow a healthy lawn without pesky weeds. One of the bigger ones, particularly in our area, with the growing season that we have is crabgrass. And uh, you take in crabgrass, the clovers, and then have Dallas grass in, in the mix with those. That can be a pretty big problem for particularly homeowners. Tennessee turf is a quality product. We're good at growing sod because of our climate and soils. But sod farms are still relatively rare in Tennessee. The Department of Agriculture says we have 27, mostly in the western end of the state, and some of those grow other crops too. Bob McCurdy runs a strictly sod operation in Gibson County. He says today's homeowner wants a healthy, pretty lawn, and he tries to give them that product. Most people are looking for something they can grow in combination of shade and sun, and there seems to be a, a larger demand for those varieties. Uh, People are buying more higher end grasses, grasses that take a lot longer to grow, such as the zoysias and the centipedes. Speaking of centipede, you might see it growing along the Carolina coast more so than in a Tennessee neighborhood. But it's one variety Ashley Sipes grows at UT's Ag Research Center in Jackson, where she studies mowing heights and shade conditions for a number of grasses. We've had um, great results with it. I love centipede. It's a low maintenance grass. It's mm -hmm. low fertility. It doesn't take a lot of nitrogen. You can scalp it pretty much. So if you like to mow short, that's a great grass. No matter your preference for turf, chances are you can pick one and it will grow in Tennessee. Research backs that up. This is Chuck Denny reporting.